Another mechanism to look out for is oxidative stress. It refers to chronic metabolic stress that's caused by either insufficient or excessive nutrient supply. In particular, chronically elevated blood levels of free fatty acids and glucose lead to an increased production of ROS. Not the paleontologist from that famous 90s US sitcom, but reactive oxygen species. And in turn, the endoplasmic reticulum is stressed. Aw, oh, I don't like being stressed. Yeah, and the endoplasmic reticulum doesn't like that either. As a consequence, it releases pro-inflammatory signals. And we've already seen what these can do when we talked about adipokines that contribute to insulin resistance and other derangements of the metabolism. 